Hello, Fred here. I want to welcome everybody to the Secret Silver Stacking Society. Um, it's been a while since I've showcased a book I'm reading, but as you can see, I'm reading the $100 Startup. Interesting about the interesting thing about this book is uh, I actually was in I think Borders. It was either Borders or Barnes and Noble, one of them, when Borders was around. But I was actually reading some of this book. I didn't finish it, but um, I was really impressed by it. So um, it's an interesting read. I'm still reading it. I haven't given it the thumbs up or thumbs down yet, um, but I like what I'm reading so far. Um, also, I finished reading, uh, I believe, The Wealthy Barber. Uh, I, I didn't bring that book back out for you guys because um, I'm not 100%. Um, I don't 100% agree with it, but I think there are some interesting takeaways from it. Uh, you know, dollar cost averaging, putting away 10% of your income, uh, things like that is great. I think the downside of The Wealthy Barber is... A lot of the book is about adding additional expenses, even though it's insurance, um, it's additional expenses. So um, I know there's a lot of people, uh, they may not be high income earners, so they may not be able to afford some of those additional expenses. I definitely think if you are striving to get to a point of a high income earner or earning more than um, minimum wage or, or whatever your goals are, um, some of those expenses are important. Uh, life insurance, disability insurance, uh, setting aside money for your child's college fund, um, uh, a, a slew of things that he gave in that book. So, I mean, it's it's if you're advanced, uh, a person that has a, an advanced understanding of investing, that may be a good book for you because... Um, Really, it talks about ways to hedge your income and uh, work towards your goal of being financially free. But I don't believe just putting 10% in a mutual fund alone is going to get you there. And I think that's what they're saying in that book, The Wealthy Barber. 10% uh, of your money in a mutual fund is going to get you to where you need to go and be able to retire early or retire wealthy. I don't think that's enough. Um, so, uh, I finished that book. I also finished a book called Dirt Rich for those people who are interested in investing in land. Uh, it kind of gives you a general overview. Uh, it really, you have to pay for his course to get more details on some of the tools and techniques he uses. But I mean, hey, for a general overview, it's not bad. Uh, it's called Dirt Rich. Um, so I finished that book as well. So let's move on to cryptos. Cryptos have been down for me except for GMR. Uh, I'm seeing light losses right now. So, uh, so far, uh, not bad with that. I'm not really upset about it or anything. Um, so we're, have, we're not seeing deep, dramatic losses right now. So hopefully crypto will stay, uh, or I shouldn't say crypto, but Bitcoin will stay over um 30,000 and if it does I think that will show uh, give some more stability to different altcoins and like I say uh, or I have said in previous videos that uh, I like tokenomics so that's why I like coins like SafeMoon and other NGMR that have uh, some tokenomics involved so um, that's that um, another coin I'm looking at, but they don't even have a website up. So, I mean, I'm wondering if it's a rug pull is a coin called save. Uh, and it's actually called, uh, their token is save, but they're called save the world. I believe interesting coin that has tokenomics and gives a portion of the proceeds of the coin to, uh, different charities. So very interesting coin. I'm starting to see some of those coins pop up that have that uh, function. Um, but like I said, they don't even have a website up yet. So we'll see on that coin. I think the cool thing about GMR is they actually put finally put together a white paper. Uh, so that makes them a little bit less riskier. Um, not to say they still could pull a rug pull, but um, that's where I'm there. Uh, that's where I'm at right now with cryptos. 
I still have a little bit of Shiba Inu. I don't know if I'm going to put more money into it. I have an expense come up recently. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do in, in terms of investing this month. I may just focus on paying that expense down. And um, uh, that's kind of the goal right now is paying that expense down. Um, so um, the metals market a little bit down for me in silver uh you know which is no big deal if silver drops down to record lows and premiums drop down uh i definitely would want to accumulate more silver if that is possible uh, i'm still working on the ebook i haven't done any writing this week but i'm going to get it together i already have some ideas on areas i want to focus on so i'm working on that ebook um I think I'm going to change my strategy too with the ebook and uh, really focus on uh, pre sales, not uh, uh, anything outside that department. My goal is going to get it, be enough pre sales, get enough pre sales to pay for formatting and marketing and pocket a little bit of money. That's my goal. Uh, so I'm working on the ebook. Uh, social media presence, uh, I'm on Twitter. Uh, on LinkedIn and I am on Instagram and of course here YouTube uh, losing some uh, connections on um, in uh, LinkedIn but LinkedIn is still the best platform for me right now also um, I am um, on Twitter Twitter is like the second best then Instagram, um, and then uh, YouTube. So uh, YouTube has really been lacking behind, but I know I've talked about that in other videos. So, um, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't know if the channel will grow or not, but I still make videos because I respect that there's still some people here uh, watching my videos, uh, getting inspired by the content that I put out. So, um, you know, this week is a busy week for me. Uh, I'm trying to look into um, getting uh, a second job here soon. I may work this Saturday, so I may work my primary job. We'll see how that goes. Um, but other than that, um, you know, uh, just trying to hang in there, do the best I can, get a second job going. Uh, and also work on this ebook. That's where the income is coming from. So I'll have a few sources of income uh, coming my way. Um, you know, I think I can share a lot with people and help a lot of people. So, uh, you know, I don't think anything's wrong with that. Uh, any additional information? Not much. Uh, haven't bought any silver recently except for the ones I talked about in June. So I don't have anything scheduled this month. Like I've said, uh, finances are a little bit tight this month. Uh, so I was hoping to put back more money, but um, it just may not happen, unfortunately. Uh, I wanted to kind of get back up to build my savings back up because I put a lot of money in crypto. So, um, you know, crypto may bounce back, it may not, we'll see. But um, I wanted to put my feet in the water and I kind of went a little deep, but um, it's okay. So, um, I still use um, a software wallet. I have that, I have a little bit on the exchange on Coinbase. Uh, nothing major. I think I still have a little bit of Algorand. And even though they're... Um, APR, or APY, sorry, their APY, annual percentage yields, uh, went down on Coinbase, so it just kind of angered me a little bit. Uh, they took it down by 2%, so, um, and I was so excited about Algorand, and I thought Algorand was great, thought it was undervalued, um, but since they have taken away the um, 2% of the APY, I'm just not too happy about that. Uh, I can't remember the other token. I'll try to remember that in the next video that I'm uh, invested in on Coinbase. Uh, yeah, and then maybe give you guys that information. Um, other than that, uh, you know, um, just hanging in there, guys. Just hanging in there. 
Okay, well, hey, uh, I just want to say, um, as I say in every video, as Silver5150 says, uh, just 20 ounces to your name keeps you 99% ahead of the game. And as I say, just 20 ounces to your name makes you a member of the secret Silver Stacking Society. You guys have a wonderful week, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Take care. Fred here signing off. Bye-bye.